Hello students, today we are doing part 2 of lesson 8 from the science textbook for standard 8. So come along then, let's read and understand it. This video was made just for you. Do remember to like, share and subscribe. Now let us understand about air pollution in detail. What are the reasons for air pollution and how we can take care of it. Now can you recall? Plot a graph showing the proportion of various gases on the Earth's atmosphere. We have learnt that our Earth, um, the air, okay, is a, a mixture of gases. Okay, so which are the gases? We have uh, oxygen, we have carbon dioxide, we have nitrogen, and we have the other inert gases. So according to it, make a graph of what is the percentage of each uh, gas and why is it said that air is a homogeneous mixture of different gases? Which different hazard, hazardous gas means dangerous gases are released through fuel combustion. Fuel means our petrol, diesel, gas, um, all these things that we use to burn something is called fuel. So, what are the harmful gases, hazardous gases that are released? To check your answers, you can visit our website at jkacademypro.com. You'll get the link in the description below. Now, contamination of air, that is when we devalue the air, that is spoil the air by harmful substances like poisonous gases, smoke, particulate matter, microbes, etc. are called air pollution. So, air pollution happens because of all these pollutants that go into the air. Now, reasons for air pollution and let's re read about it in detail. Now, can you tell which factors are responsible for pollution shown in the following pictures? Look, here there is forest fire. Here there is a volcano and here there is vehicular traffic okay so all are causing pollution so here we see that there is a lot of smoke coming out isn't it here there is smoke and gas and other materials that is coming out of the um, from the volcano and here we see that there is the poisonous carbon monoxide that is coming out from the vehicles and it's causing pollution everywhere so air pollution due to the different factors so these are the some are natural factors and some are man-made factors now reasons for air pollution so natural reasons what are the natural causes okay for air pollution and then we are also going to study about man-made reasons so first is volcanic eruption solid gases and liquid materials emerge out through the eruption so when a volcano erupts look at here erupts means when it burst open when all the things come out of the uh, volcano okay so there are solid materials also coming out there are gases material also coming out and there is liquid material also coming out so that is emerge out they are pushed out through eruption eruption is they burst out okay for example hydrogen sulfide sulfur dioxide carbon dioxide ammonium chloride hydrogen vapors dust etc okay so all these are some of the factors that you know they come out of that eruption then the second is earthquake so when earthquake occurs there are poisonous gases and water vapor from inside the earth are released into the air, into the air so when earthquake occurs that means the earth splits open and all these gases and water vapor comes out of the earth and of course the air gets polluted because of that then third is cyclones. So cyclones and dust storms. Cyclones means there will be the um, wind blowing okay, round and round. So those are called the cyclones and dust storms. So storms uh, happen and therefore what happens because of that? There is dust, soil, garbage, pollens microbes are mixed with the air so pollen pollen grains okay so lot of what happened because of the wind all the pollen grains are released from the flowers and there are of course microbes which get transported from one place to the other so where it is not wanted so they pollute it over there so because of cyclone and dust storms all these pollutions can happen and they are natural pollutions 
then number four is forest fires we just saw in the picture above here there are the various causes for forest fires some are man-made and some are natural causes that happen and once the fire occurs then it spreads very fast and wide the whole forest may get burnt out okay and because of that there is a lot of gas release smoke gas is uh, released out so forest fires release carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide hydrogen sulfide smoke in the air okay so that also causes the air pollution then we have microbes in the air that is pollens of a uh, parenthenium spores of bacteria fungi are mixed with the air hmm? so even microbes uh, get released because of these pollen grains and all that and so they spread over the uh, uh, you know everywhere and so sometimes we fall sick when we are exposed where people are exposed uh, on a large scale so we may fall sick because of the bacteria and fungi that is in the air so these are some of the natural causes now let's learn about the man-made reasons first is the fuel fuel is any substance that we use to burn okay so we are using fuel at home that is in the form of LPG gas as well as we use fuel in our vehicles and in factories. So burning fuel like coal, timber, timber is wood, LPG gas, okay, the gas that we uh, have it in our homes as well as in some vehicles are fitted with CNG and LPG gas, gas cylinders. Then there is kerosene, diesel, petrol, all these are used in vehicles, releases carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxide, sulfur dioxide, lead, compounds etc are released in the air. So they are released in the air and so they increase the pollution of air. Second is burning of solid waste, agricultural waste etc or in open causes no, open space causes air pollution so sometimes the farmers are burning their waste sometimes we uh, burn garbage so all these are burning of the solid waste then agricultural waste is also burnt so all this will also cause the air to get polluted the second point is industrialization now due to large number of industries factories that are uh, set up so they also release smoke so smoke is released in large quantities from various factories so because of that what happens sulfur powder nitrogen oxide cotton seed powder is released in the air so all these things get released in the air and air gets polluted the third is the atomic energy plants and blast. So wherever there are atomic energy plants, so one is um, near Trombay in Bombay, very close to Mumbai. So uh, the Baba Atomic Research Center. So use of elements like uranium, thorium, graphite, plutonium release radiations in the air and those uh, thus pollution occurs. So because of all their research work that they do, they do a lot of things. You know? So in the atomic plants also, all these harmful radiation are released in the air and so the air gets polluted. Now think about this. What are reasons other than above mentioned responsible for air pollution? So these are some of the reasons mentioned. Can you think of some more? And whether the vehicles with two-stroke engine cause more pollution than four-stroke engine you know no? we have uh, bikes and we have um, scooters and all that some use two-stroke engines some use four-stroke engines so think whether two-stroke gives more pollution or four-stroke if you uh, you know don't know the answers you can check it from the internet and um, if you get the answers Otherwise, you can also go to our website at www.jkacademypro.com and you will get the answers over there. Now, you can also make use of the internet. Okay, so collect information about large volcanoes of the earth. Uh, of the world okay so where are the volcanoes active volcanoes dormant volcanoes okay so you can find out about them and collect information about effect of air pollution on the human health from large cities and villages from maharashtra so where are the most polluting cities and villages in maharashtra so you can go to the internet and get some information about it now peeping in history let's see what happened in the past okay so peeping in history there had been thick fog in London due to air pollution during 5th to 9th December 1952. Fog, fog means, you know, during winter time, 
now december is winter time what happens is the air there is lot of water vapor you know so that is natural so those are called uh, you know we have the uh, mist and the air okay but what happens is due to due to lot of pollution this fog gets converted into smog now what is smog smog is the pollution mixed with fog okay so smoke due to burning of coal had been mixed and dark shadow of this smog remained on the city for consecutive 5 days so for 5 days the uh, smoke was there okay the smog so the smog means smoke mixed with fog and the same situation occurred again okay during 3rd to 6th december 1962 okay so first it happened in 1952 see if you look at the period it is similar dates and then it happened in 1962 now the second point is in 1948 petersburg was named as black city now petersburg is a place in uh, russia so when smoke and soot soot means the black part when we burn something the black thing that comes out caused night like situation during the day time so it was so dark around the place that it it felt as if it was night time but it was day time so that is why the whole city was called a black city in 1948 this is what happened so these are all the effects of air pollution that can happen in our city also do solve the exercise that is given at the end of the lesson and to check your answers you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below do remember to like share and subscribe